Greetings, brothers. This is Wayman Brown, creator of the EsquireProject.com, the self-enterprising site helping black men to eliminate barriers to personal achievement. Be sure to check out the links within the description. It's always a pleasure to be with you, brothers. I'll be sure to leave the cash app in the event that you're inclined to donate. One love and welcome to another video. One of my favorite quotes is from Jim Rohn, a personal development guru who passed about 10 years ago and he said make rest a necessity not a goal one of the best times that i felt about my personal productivity is when i was actually broke and i was working two jobs that didn't really pay a lot of money one of my jobs was an overnight front desk hotel job where i was doing like night auditing and checking people in the hotels and then during the day, I was working at a call center. So as you can imagine, I was walking around like a zombie because I'm staying up overnight doing this 11 to 7, and then I'm doing this 8 to 4. And fortunately, the jobs were close to each other, so I would just like take a shower at the hotel, and then I would just go down the street to my second job. But even though I was barely getting a few rests between these jobs, I needed to do this, and I needed to crawl myself out of a very bad financial dilemma. But I remember one day when I had two checks that hit on the same pay period. And even though I was in dire need of both of those sources of income, I felt like a man who was taking care of his business because I knew the type of mentality that I had, which is that I was taking an all out effort to get myself back on track in life. Sometimes when you're ambitious, it comes as a result of being in a very bad place, like the one that I was in, where you're just trying to get some breathing room away from a present level of discomfort. And then at other times, it may come from a hunch or a motivating idea or a vision that you have for a brighter future, even when things are actually going pretty solid in your life. Either way, I think there needs to be a period of time where you take an incredible all out effort towards something. You see, the thing with ambition is that it's a fuel that can run out and ambition is not always around to stay unless you just have that sort of a personality type just like when you go to the gym for example at the start of a new year you might be there almost every day faithfully right because you got this vision in your head of what you want to do and you go extra hard for about two weeks before you start slowing down but even if you slow down you remember how hard you worked during those couple of weeks you remember getting up, even when you didn't feel like it, early in the morning, when you were rolling around in bed and debating if you should get up or not, or if you should go after work when you felt tired after the 9 to 5, and if you should just go hang out somewhere instead of hitting the gym. But you decided to prioritize going to the gym. You remember looking at yourself in the mirror after every workout, checking to see if you felt a little more diesel or if you started noticing changes in your body or if your stomach was getting flatter. And you also remember how you are incrementally getting stronger and stronger, it seems, by the day because you are into it. You are all out about trying to make something happen in the gym. And even when you fell off from being so consistent, you can still recall how you felt when you were ambitious. And that's the beauty or one of the beauties of being ambitious is that even if you do something in shorter spurts, you can see what happens when you really put your mind to something for a small amount of time, even if you don't keep the pace consistently. Ambition keeps an idea in front of us to pursue something with a degree of eagerness or to have an energetic and focused interest to do something or to attain a certain outcome. And the thing is, it's not always necessary to even achieve a certain goal when you're being ambitious because again, one of the main benefits is that it gets you busy, it gets you active, it gets you engaged, it gets you in a state of mind to take action, to be more productive. And sometimes you just need to get out of a slump and being ambitious helps you to do just that. Now, of course, we want to make sure that our ambitions aren't infringing upon the lives of other people or that they're even destructive to ourselves. And deciding to be ambitious, ambitious rather, should be something that moves us to see a change or to make progress we should almost look at it like 
when we just get that urge to start cleaning up in the middle of the night when we try to lay down and then it's like we just can't sleep and next thing you know we're up two hours bleaching everything wiping everything down that's what you want ambition to do for you you want it to be something that gets you to take some sort of action and to move you to work hard not just to work smart even though of course you do want to work smart but you want to get the fuel in that emotion of what it feels like to work hard where you almost feel like there's steam coming off of your body from putting forth so much effort I remember the first car that I bought, it was this 18 year old piece of crap Buick LeSabre. I bought it for 500 bucks. The thing only lasted me for about three weeks and I already knew probably ahead of time that it wasn't going to be a good car and I ended up having to junk it and I bought it from this place that pretty much sold lemons in the neighborhood that I lived in. It was a rip off basically. Now that's not really the important part of this thing of me buying the car it wasn't really about how long it lasted me because even though it didn't last me any length of time the important thing for me is I'll never forget when I mentally locked in and decided that I was going to get the money to get a car I was freezing my ass off on this one winter day it must have been in the single digits and if you grew up in a lake effect snow area then you know what I'm talking about how cold it can get if you grew up on one of the Great Lakes, like I grew up here off of Lake Erie. And it was a severely brutal winter day. And I just remember standing on the bus stop and saying to myself, I don't care what I have to do, I'm getting a car this winter. I'm not doing this anymore. I just locked in saying it to myself right there on the spot. I made the pledge that I was going to be driving because I had reached a point of just no more. And then I ended up raising the car very quickly. Or raising the money rather very quickly to get a new car new to me at least right but again what's important about this moment is that my ambition drove me to achieving a very specific outcome which was getting that car and I decided right there on the spot and I knew within my spirit that I wasn't going to turn away from it I refused to not have a car anymore see that's the other beautiful part of ambition is that it drives you to achieve a very specific goal in life and when you reach that goal you can put a check mark on your list of accomplishments and then yet again you have another memory to look back on when times are tough when you're not feeling so motivated you can draw back on when you were extra motivated and then instead of you looking at somebody else to set an example or to motivate you you can draw off of your motivations of the past because you know it's something that you personally have already done so pay attention to those moments where you know that you've reached the point of no return and where you'll no longer tolerate a specific situation or where you no longer tolerate a specific person in your life. Because you know that having that person around or having this circumstance in your life is completely counterintuitive to where you are and where you want to go. And also pay attention to those moments where you know that you could be much further ahead of where you are. And when you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired and letting your talents go to waste and letting your knowledge go to waste and just letting yourself decay right in front of your eyes because you know that you're much better than what you've been demonstrating. You know that you're much more capable than what you've been demonstrating. And you know that if you just went full force and got rid of any distractions, then you would be sitting on a pot of gold. See, you have to really get tired of seeing another year go by where you didn't make at least one big thing happen that you can be proud of that would add so much more significance to your life even if it's just one thing the cumulative result of doing one big thing a year adds up over the years you have to be tired of just daydreaming about what it would be like if you were to make a major move instead of just making the major move because you have to become frustrated with living far under your potential and laziness and indifference is the only thing that's getting in your way if you've ever been in a company of very highly accomplished people particularly people in business then you know that the results that they produce at such a high level cause them to go into a certain mental state or to adopt a mental state that makes them feel so driven that if you've ever had the honor of experiencing their company you'll want to go hard 
just to be able to qualify to participate in the conversations that they have. So where you can associate with other very ambitious people as much as you can. And I know that with the pandemic, sometimes it makes it hard. So maybe you can't get around to certain local business groups or events at this time as much as you used to. But we still have online spaces. You still have people in your personal life who are highly accomplished. There's probably a friend or a family member or somebody who's around you who you can reach out to and try to maybe, you know, have some time with them where you can just kind of understand and adopt their state of mind. And even if nothing else, we live in an information age. So you can literally just search for anything that you want. Look at interviews, listen to interviews, you know, from highly ambitious, highly accomplished people. And you can adopt the philosophies that they've had when it comes to the state of mind that they were in when they were pursuing this or when they went for that. And if you want, you can start to emulate what drives them. You can emulate their personalities in different ways. And even if you only achieve the percentage of what they've achieved, let's say that they've made $10 million a year doing something. Imagine if you only achieved 1% of what they've achieved or 5% of what they've achieved. Even if you've only achieved a small portion of the business accomplishments that, that they've uh, been able to achieve, or even if you only went after a small percentage of the creative endeavors that they've had, even if you only we're half as good as them when it comes to managing mental barriers and getting over certain things and pushing through certain things. You will probably still be much further along than you already are. My brothers, it's a time for us to make moves and to make actions. Not because of it being a new year, but because it's something that we need to see for ourselves every year throughout the year. As always is one love and peace until next time.